Again, with breaking news, the Green Bay Area School District just a short time ago accepting the resignation of Superintendent Dr. Claude Tiller Jr. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jason Zimmerman. The vote to accept this resignation was unanimous among school board members during a special meeting called this afternoon and a closed session lasting nearly three hours. As we first told you on Monday, Tiller was under review for apparent comments he made on a radio show in Atlanta while on a recruiting trip. It happened during an on-air commercial break, but video was streaming online with a hot mic. Former district employee told the school board he watched the video before it was taken down online and heard the superintendent verbally attack a co-worker and many of the district's teachers. We are still waiting for a copy of that video. This joint statement released by the district and the superintendent said, quote, the board and Dr. Tiller Jr. have mutually agreed to the terms of Dr. Tiller Jr.'s resignation from the district. Both Dr. Tiller Jr. and the district have agreed that this is the best course of action for both parties. The board and district wish to express their gratitude to Dr. Tiller for his many contributions to the Green Bay Area Public School District and wish him well in his future endeavors. The board and Dr. Tiller Jr. appreciate the interest and patience of district staff and the public over the past days and look forward to focusing back on the work of educating children, In quote. Brittany Schmidt was in the room for us when the board accepted that resi resignation. She joins us in the newsroom with community reaction. Brittany. Jason, the reaction was loud and instant inside the room as several community members waited almost three hours for the board to hear from them. Again, no public comment was taken, but several community leaders have a plan of action following this announcement. The executive directors of three resource centers in the area are teaming up and creating a new task force. Casa Alba Melanie, a resource center for the Hispanic community, Kamsa, a resource center serving immigrants and refugees, and We All Rise, an African-American resource center. The task force will be called United Front for Social Change. They tell us their mission will be to highlight the inequalities they are seeing within the district, in each case not serving students, especially those of color. They say this task force is meant to hear from the community, and they say the force for change starts now. We're going to start having listening sessions with community members. We're going to have town hall meetings and we're going to bring light to how this district is failing our students. Everyone is up in arms about two minutes that Dr. Tiller said, but no one is up in arms about the fact that 27% of Brown County third grade students are reading at proficient uh, reading proficiency. No one is up in arms about how this district is failing our students. So that's the real issue here. Tonight at 10, we hear from two of the Board of Education members about the decision made tonight at this special board meeting. Jason.